Yeah, hey, this message is for Cody. Uh, this is Bradley Adams with American Honda. This is about a potential spot for a ride we're doing on the new CRF 450L in Packwood, Washington. Five days ago, I received a very unexpected phone call uh, from Bradley with Honda uh, inviting me out to Packwood, Washington uh, to be one of the very first people on the planet uh, to be able to take a look and ride the new Honda CRF 450L. Uh, This has been a motorcycle that's been anticipated by Honda fans and dual sport fans for a very, very long time, and I was very honored to do this. When I broke out the map to find out where Packwood, Washington was, I was very delighted to find out that it happened to be the very end of the first stage of the Wobder Trail. The Wobder Trail, if you don't know, is a trail uh, that is an off-road single track and double track that goes all the way from the southern border of Washington and beautiful Stevenson all the way to the Canadian border. It's something that has been a dream of mine to ride on a dual sport bike. So I thought since we have just equipped the van with uh, lockers, differential, locking differentials front and rear and four wheel drive, I thought, let's see if we can do the first leg of the Wobder Trail in the adventure van. This is the first time I've had the adventure van in uh, any off-road situation like this. When I had, uh, well, as you know, I had the four-wheel drive installed by Quad Van in Northwest Portland. I had them change the gear ratio to 373 and install True Track lockers or Eaton True Tracks front and rear. So it is a very capable uh, off-road vehicle with uh, paired with the KO2 BFG All Terrains. Now it's not going to be a a trophy truck. It doesn't have the articulation and flex that a that a real extreme off-road Jeep or, or rig, rig or truck would have. Uh, but for a cargo van, um, it is fairly capable. Yeah, I know. I know I get to live here. I don't take it for granted. Every morning I wake up, I am so grateful to be able to live in probably one of the most beautiful, arguably beautiful places in the entire world. So I came across something that was so interesting. So this uh, the river here is uh, prone to flood. And I, had, I saw the, these really interesting engineering structures or architectural structures, whatever you call them, uh, that I'd never seen before. And that what they are is they are a, uh, a bulwark or a barrier uh, against uh, flooding. So the river comes to a bend here and has a tendency to wash out the road every winter uh, when the snow melts. And what they've done is they've taken these huge or built these huge log decks, kind of a crisscross pattern. Imagine Lincoln logs that you crossed, just did a crisscross pattern in and then filled them in with river rock. So what's cool about it is that they've used everything on site, you know, what they have that, that, the, that the forest can produce and the river rock to build these monstrous structures to help to see uh, if they slow down erosion. It'll be very interesting to come back in the spring uh, and find out if indeed they did work.
So Honda's got rooms for everyone, so let's go inside and see what they got for us. Hello. I think you have a room for me. Are you Cody? I am. You are the last one the I last have. The last one you've been waiting? <laughs> waiting for me? I am waiting for you. Non-smoking room, dang it. Oops, oh, sorry, sorry. All right, what do we have here? Check it out, I've never done it. I've never been to any one of these things before. I got a Klim backpack, climb backpack, water bladder, a nice letter from Honda, and a t-shirt, cool. I know this video is a little different than maybe things that I've done in the past, and I know that there's folks that would like us to to keep things the way they are and or the way they were and what have always been. But I guess you know, for me, and probably I would imagine that you're the same way. When you do something for so long, uh, and it and it doesn't challenge you, and it doesn't um, uh, you don't see any growth, and there's no different, it, there's no there's no change from day to day. It can get very monotonous, and your heart can quickly leave it. If I were to continue to just to do the same thing over again, I mean, there's folks out there that would, uh, if they had their choice, I would do an ax video every day. You know, and how many ax videos can you really do? Uh, I need to, uh, I, I need to try new things. I need to get better at things, and I need to experiment. And some things will be, you know, will work, and some things will not work. And I, what I really like to do is, of course, I'll always do the homesteading videos, but I'd like to share different adventures, and I'd like to try to present them in a, a way that's watchable and creative and uh, when folks will see something or a title of a video and you know that may be dirt bike related for example and they think well I'm not interested in dirt biking well I'm interested in it and I think that it's it's a, a good thing to be interested not necessarily but but to at least ex try to experience it and and I want to I guess create content that even though you may not have a particular desire to watch whatever that may be about that I can framing it away or produce it in a way that that makes it at least somewhat interesting and maybe something uh, that you enjoy watching because remember with my channel you get what you pay for and the bar is set pretty low so uh there'll be another part to this so i want to make sure you don't miss that um there's important there's an important lesson here and i i showed a little maybe a bit of a of a, of a teaser in the beginning um i did something very stupid um and made a mistake that could have been a very very uh, uh, bad. Uh, it could have hurt not only myself, it could have hurt uh, the other writers that were with me. Um, and I debated whether I should show it or not, and, and I will show it because I've always, uh, you know, I've always um, tried not to portray myself. Um, I, I try to lay, lay it on the line. If I mess something up, I put it, or if I do something wrong, uh, I'll put it up. If I have made a mistake, I have m many times apologized publicly for it. So uh, stay tuned for that. You will be very. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. But uh, that was uh, a little bit of a, of a downside or a little bummer that, that the trip started with that. But it turned out, uh, everything turned out okay. And uh, it turned into a, just a wonderful day. And I got to uh, ride with uh, some really great guys. And the folks at Honda were wonderful. And uh, we'll be talking more about it. I've, I'm on an embargo. I can't uh, discuss, you know, technical things or my impressions of the bike or anything for a week or so, but I can share with you my experience and uh, which we'll do tomorrow and, and the riding and, and what it was like and what an amazing, amazing place we were at. So don't forget to click the thumbs up if you like this uh, video. Um, I try my best to make content that is um, interesting and, and, um, to watch and do the best I can so we're, we're getting better we're challenging ourselves trying new things and hopefully we'll get a home run every once in a while so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video